International travel can leave modern day adventures with positive memories and an increased knowledge of their world. Along the way, many pick up souvenirs, gifts and other items that remind them of their favorite destinations. Regardless of what travelers bring home and choose to leave behind, everyone still has to answer to customs officers upon arrival into their destination country. No traveler enjoy clearing customs in addition to filling out a standard form on the incoming aircraft or vessel. Travelers may be asked to recall everything they picked up and packed. On their travel. In the United States, the pass through customs is often followed by passing immediately through a Transportation Security Administration checkpoint. When prepared for and done correctly, passing through customs can be a relatively quick and easy process. Today, I'll talk of five common questions every traveler should always plan on being asked by customs officers upon arrival. Keep watching. Hey guys. You're watching World Best Fact. I do upload three videos in every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now and press the bell icon. Number 1. What is the purpose of your trip? In nearly every situation, this is often the first question traveler will be asked by a customs officer. This is often the first of the most common customs question because the purpose of your trip could change the type of visa required for entering the country or subject travelers to different regulations. As a matter of best practice, always be honest with customs officials about the purpose of trip. A dishonest answer could result in detention or even expulsion from a foreign country. To be safe, be sure to look up visa requirements before your arrival to ensure a smooth transition at customs. Number 2. How long do you intend to stay? This common customs question has less to do with the traveler's vacation plans and everything to do with the national security. Customs and border protection officers often ask about length of stay to assess if travelers qualify to enter the country and if the visa they are holding is appropriate for their stay. While some countries allow for a 90 day stay with an on arrival visa, others require travelers to apply for their visa well in advance. Depending on the planned length of visit, savvy travelers should be prepared to explain the length of their visit. Short term stays of less than a week and long term visits of more than a month usually receive a follow up from the customs officer about their activities during their visit. A smart traveler should always prepare to answer truthfully about their activities while traveling. Number 3 Where will you be staying? Unlike the first two question, customs officer asks about housing arrangements to ensure a traveler is not a security is travelers giving very generic answers including at a hostel with a friend or something may raise red flags for officers as a result travelers may get even more questions about their visit and could be detained until their travel plan are verified smart travelers prepare an answer to this customs question with the name of the hotel they are staying at or the address of the friends family members or airbnb property they will be staying with in addition those who are planning to stay Stay in a hotel or hostel should always keep a confirmation of travel plan available. Having detailed stay information on hand can help traveler clear customs faster and with less frustration. Number 4. What is your occupation? This common customs question has less to do with the fascination of global occupations and more to do with analyzing risk. When a customs officer asks about the traveler's occupation, it is not only an indicator of their financial capacities while in a given country, but also a behavior analysis tip. Travelers who can't give an answer quickly or directly may be directed to additional questioning by customs. A smart traveler answered the occupation question directly or quickly. However, be prepared to back up those answers with additional proof. Such an occupation, like journalists and law enforcement, could result in follow up questions. Number 5. Do you have anything to declare? Depending on where a traveler is entering, certain items may be restricted or prohibited at your destination. When entering the United States, baked and prepared goods can be bought back without inspection. However, meats, fruits, and vegetables may be subject to closer inspection. Some embargoed goods may also not be bought back, depending on the country. For travel into the US, this includes many items originate from Cuba, Burma, Iran, or Sudan. Always keep a list 
list of your items purchased on your person when going through the check post and be sure to declare all goods purchased abroad that you are bringing back with you. So planning to speak with a customs officer is never fun but it's a vital part of an international traveler. By having answers prepared about the trip every international traveler can make sure their stop is quick, efficient and allows you to enter the country without delay.